Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my what I got for Christmas. Now I would like to disclaim that I know I am quite fortunate in what I've got. I have got presents from multiple people. I will point that one out. Mainly from my mum and my nana and then there's like the odd tiny little thing from my mum's partner's sister but we open those presents over FaceTime today so yeah. And this is the third time I've tried to film this video but first thing I'm going to start off with technically is a present technically isn't a present it's not new but my nana didn't use her handheld hoover and I was like yeah can I have it because it'll be easier to hoover my bedroom with it just because I don't like carrying the Henry upstairs because Henry is heavy and yeah I just don't like hoovering with Henry my room doesn't get my carpet doesn't get too messy luckily but whenever I do have to hoover I don't like it because carrying Henry upstairs and then carrying Henry downstairs is too much effort and so I don't know who it's just going to be nice because it means that I can clean up so much easier and so much quicker and yeah so that was the main thing I kind of wanted to say well it's not the main thing but it was the thing I wanted to get out of the way first so we're going to start I'm trying to I'm going to try and do it in sort of like categories so we're gonna start with the food now i don't know whether you've seen like the boxes of like assortments of haribos not like the tubs i have got a tub of haribos from my mum's like a family friend she sort of just like dropped them off like very quickly one day and i got haribos and then here is some super mix some star mix and some tang fastics i haven't had tang fastics in so long so it, it'll be quite nice but yeah i'm starting with sweets but in like the box you get quite a few things so there were some haribo dummies like the tang fastic dummies some giant trees like the haribo ones very festive some straws can't go wrong with straws some jelly beans love good jelly beans and i've actually been fancying them so i'm quite glad i got some some marshmallows and where is it? I know it's in here. Some ballastics. I absolutely adore these. So then we're, I'm not going to do it very fast and I'm just going to go through. But we have this sort of like Santa belly. It's like a Santa with like a little basket attached to him and it's like you can put things in. It was originally my mum's and then it's sort of like it's now mine. So in that I got a few like mini bags of Maltesers, some drumstick squashies, the raspberry and milk flavour, some bubblegum squashies. I do quite like the bubblegum ones. I don't think I like the rhubarb and custard ones. Found another small bag of Maltesers. Then the fruit salads, softies, but the raspberry and pineapple ones. These typically you'd get like a mixture pack and I prefer the ones that are like apple and raspberry or something. I don't know what the green ones are. But I prefer those, but these are still nice. Keeping with the theme of sweets. Now, obviously I said the family friend dropped off some things. She gave my sister some dairy milk buttons. Now the reason why I have them is because my sister's unable to... My sister has an intolerance to dairy and soya, so... And these obviously contain that. So my parents are going to buy her... Give like They're not going to buy her, but she's got chocolate that's hair fr friendly for her. So I got them. Like, there was a selection box and then there was these i just wanted these also speaking of selection boxes there was a selection box that i got so and then the select i've taken the box apart just because i could and so in there i got a 12 a crunchy i like crunchy double decker i don't know double deckers often but it is nice dairy milk oreo this just looks like the normal, like, flavour. A uh, whisper. Good whisper. Love a good whisper. And, like, a natural, like, dairy milk bar. Well, not, you know, like, how it's, like, little segments. Or, like, little squares. And also, I'm going to be mentioning two gifts in one. But basically, I got a tube of fruit pastels. But I also got this, like, little trolley for organising for putting pens in but I decided to put, to put my fruit pastels in. I've eaten some of the fruit, fruit pastels so now I've got like the good flavours left 
I think it's like strawberry and blackcurrant that are left and they're like the good flavours and blackcurrant's the best though and I've just put those in there and it's quite nice. I think I'll probably end up using this for sweets rather than actual pens just because I think it's a bit of a waste of a space just to put pens in. Like I could fit rubbers in like there's just going to be so much empty like real estate in here that would be empty so it's easier to keep sweets in. I'd like to point out I refer to it as real estate because of the home edit. I also got a box of Maltesers. I'm going to mention some miscellaneous stuff first that doesn't really fit into a category and then we're going to move on to something else. So another thing I got is this Philips Bluetooth speaker. I quite like, whenever I'm downstairs I quite like casting my phone to the Google, I think it's a Google Dot, I believe so, and so they got me my own Bluetooth speaker for in my room and it's quite nice and it doesn't just play music it doesn't just play music like if I like if I was to play music and I got a snapchat through like a snapchat video message through and I was to pause my music and then go into snapchat it plays the sound of the snapchat through I don't know whether that's the same for every bluetooth speaker but it's quite nice and yeah actually technically this fits into like technology but because I have got something else technology ish not technology but it is eh. yeah i got a philips speaker i'm just gonna put this to the side i also got two pairs of apple headphones these are the ones with the like actual like headphone jack thing like i don't have an iphone at the moment but it works really well with like my google phone and i love using these headphones it's a much clearer sound and I don't like the one, the earphones that have like the rubber tips on because I can't hear uh, the volume as nice and also they don't fit my ears properly whereas with Apple's earphones they fit, they obviously fit in your ear like really really nice and they're just, oh I just love them. However I will probably use my other ones well when I'm creating ASMR just because, because I did have to, I did buy some £3 ones from Wilco just because I needed some headphones because my previous pair of Apple headphones like broke on me so I needed some headphones like cheap like cheap headphones just to get me through until I could afford to pay some more but then they said yeah we managed to get you two pairs of headphones so you don't need to buy some more like and because I listen to music quite a bit granted I'm not listening through them to it through my headphones as much anymore due to covid but whenever I but whenever it things were normal and I was walking to college I was always wearing it whenever I like I walked the dog yesterday and because it's Christmas day and he was up with my nana and I use them and whenever I go to the shop I use them and I just use them for a, a lot and so because they're always entering my pocket and exiting my pocket and always being like handled mine would break apart a little easier because of overuse so yeah I spent too much I, t I spent too long talking about earphones then I will definitely go into a miscellaneous thing I got this hand mirror I don't know whether it was bought new or whether it's something that my nana already had because I don't know the half of the stuff my nana has but I got this Hugo Boss um handheld mirror it's like gold it looks really nice don't think it's real gold but then again it could be and it's just like a nice little handheld mirror and I don't know whether I'll actually use this or whether it's just gonna be something that I keep in its like little bag but I also keep it in this box as well just because it's so much easier to keep in the box I also got a Yankee candle now my parents don't actually like me using candles or at least the ones that uh, like they don't like the ones that aren't in canisters but the thing is is mine was partly in a canister well it wasn't but yeah and this is the apple cinnamon cider and it smells really nice 
Granted, I would have preferred a more like tropical flavour, but it's still nice and I will use that. Yeah. I'd like to point out that isn't me saying that I'd prefer a more tropical flavour, isn't me complaining, it's just like personal preference. But I do still like it. And I will still use it. And also, how much, how long does this last? Probably quite a few hours. Yeah, it's probably going to be like 30 hours or something. Have I got anything else miscellaneous? Well, there's one thing I will leave to last, what? You'll understand why. Let's move on to makeup. So, some of the makeup products I asked for is like my everyday like makeup. So, I use the collection Bronze Glow and I've noticed I'm about to hit pan. Like, I was close to hitting pan like a few months ago when I asked. So I put it on my list because I thought by the time I get to that point, I'm probably going to have hit pan anyway. So I've got this and even though I don't need it at the moment, it's like a good backup and it means I don't have to buy it myself. Granted, it is only £3, but still, it means I don't have to buy it myself which is going to be handy especially for like going to uni and everything and because I'm not going to be opening it it's going to last me longer at least that's my thought anyway so yeah and then the first two of the first liquid lipsticks I got was the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Mocha and Blush and I also got the pitch black one as well but I don't use that but I absolutely love the shade, especially Mocha. Loved it. I've still got a little bit left in the one I've got, but yeah. And Mocha is actually the shade I wore for my prom. Like, I'll show you. They're just like, one's like a brownie nude and then one's like a pinky nude. So nice, so simple. I do wear them quite a bit. I'm going to talk about the stuff that I got from my parents and then I'm going to move on to stuff that wasn't. I also got the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I use that, I'm wearing it right now. Love it. And you can't go wrong with buying foundation. I said exactly which shade I wanted and I got it. I do wish I'd got the um, my primer though, but again, I can't because I got some money, birth like for my, my, some money for Christmas. I also got birthday money as well, which is easy to come by together. Um, I'll just buy it that way and it'll just be so much easier to do it that way or I might try a new um, primer I don't know but the first thing I need to buy is a shoe rack for my wardrobe just because then I can put my shoes out of the way and they look organised yeah but yeah I've got foundation I use that I love it and when I was asking for products I only asked, like, when I was asking for makeup, I only asked for, a make I only asked for makeup that is stuff I already used. There is the, there is one item that I asked for that I haven't used. Well, actually, no, two. There's two items that I asked for that I hadn't used. I'm just trying to look to make sure I've got one of the items. Oh, it's there. And they were both from Beauty Bay. And, oh, I forgot something, so I need to go quick get that. Okay, so the first makeup product that I asked for that I hadn't tried is the Beach Please Bronzing and Contour Powder. Well, it's the Bronzing and Contour Powder in the shade... No, it is the Beach Please <laughs> Bronzing and Contour Powder and it's in the shade Aloha All Day and it's from Miss Lynn. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it's from Miss Lynn. It's on Beauty Bay. I can't remember how much it was, but I, I know it was cheap. I wouldn't have asked for something that was expensive. I wanted a single contour powder because I've got one that's in a set. Hold on. I've got one that's in a set. And I'm actually about to hit I have hit pan the tiniest bit on it. And, but I don't like, I'm not going to find myself using that. And so I wanted a contour powder that was just on its own. So then I'm, because even though this is cheaper than this, I only need this and it's a waste of this like I might try and use it up but I'm not likely to and I also got the revolution um, shimmer bomb lip gloss it has vitamin E in it apparently 
it doesn't taste the nicest like whenever you get the tiny bit in your mouth it's like oh doesn't taste nice and I don't know whether it smells chemically or not like it's weird it's like it's like a nice chemically smell it's the only thing I can put it to and it's in the shade starlight it's more of a gold one I have got it on now but it's partly come off so you can actually see where I've got the liner on I tried to do a thing that my friends do I don't know what that's like. I also got a Maybelline Last Sensational mascara in very black. I own this mascara and I just needed a new one, so yeah. It's very easy to do is just buy the stuff that you know you love and use and it's just it's cheaper to do that way because you're not actually having to pay for the replacement. I also got the Vera Wang Princess perfume. I don't wear perfume that often but I was kind of struggling as to what to put because I wanted to add more than just like my regular stars so because I wanted to go for my different reg against like my regular stuff that I use I thought perfume would be a good way to do it so I went on a search to find a fairly affordable one that smelt nice that was more of like a fruity or floral scent or like a mixture of both so I went for this one I can't remember what the scent is and I'm pretty sure I've thrown away the box I might still have it but I went for this one and I think my friend said she got the exact same one like the exact same perfume but on snapchat you can't really set tell because well on a snapchat group type you can't tell because you have no clue which snap someone's responding to but I think my friend got this perfume and it does smell nice then onto the stuff from my mum's partner's sister so she got me this sort of like L'Oreal set and there was like a few different things in it there was the l'oreal mega volume miss baby roll mascara you can't go wrong with having another mascara and it's gonna be quite nice because for me the one product i can't live without the one makeup product i can't live without is mascara because you can transform your whole look with just mascara you can make yourself look go from looking like mm, no effort at all to looking like all sort of like put together just with mascara i've never tried this mascara before so it'll be interesting to see how it performs and i might do a review on it if you and if you want me to do that then let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a review on any of the products that i mention or if you want me to talk about any of the products that i've mentioned in a later video then just let me know in the comment section and i will definitely take note and make sure i film that so yeah then there was the l'oreal paris paris micellar water it removes makeup cleanses and soothes and like there was three things in the pack and the third thing is the pure clay glow mask i did accidentally get some on my jumper because the sort of like white stopper lid like that white stopper lid it sort of flipped over and got some on me and so that would be quite nice to use i've never used it before but it'll be really nice to try now i'm going to talk about books the books that i got i got five books one of them i have started to read and i'll let you know which one that is so the one that i've started to read is the family upstairs by lisa jewel my nana has read this book and she says it's good it's one house two families three bodies and the sort of like blurb is in a large house in, fa in London's fashionable Chelsea, a baby's awake in a cot. Well fed and cared for, she is happily waiting for someone to pick her up. In the kitchen lie three decomposing corpses. Close to them is a hastily scrawled note. They've been dead for several days. Who has been looking after the baby and where did they go? And I've read 66 pages of it so far and the format is it goes back and it jumps back into the past like it does flashbacks and it talks about what happened in this like 19 late 1980s Chelsea and then it talks about like the present day so Chelsea 1988 so it talks about Chelsea 1988 and then it talks about 25 years later so what's 25 years after 88 so what 2013 about that 
and so far it's a good book so yeah i also got the silent patient by alex michaelides Michale or michaelides on yeah basically this author i have no clue how to pronounce his surname i um, this is recommended quite a bit in my apple like ibooks because i've read books a bit like it and also it sounds good it says alicia berenson lived a seemingly perfect life until one day six years ago when she shot her husband in the head five times since then she hasn't spoken a single word it's time to find out why and it just sounds and yeah it just sounds like a really interesting read then i got little monsters by cara thomas this is like a psychological thriller most of these are like psychological or crime thriller it says Casey is the new girl in Broken Falls and she can't believe how nice everyone has been to her. She's even become part of a tight new circle of friends. Bailey and Jade invite her to do everything with them, which is why it's so odd that they go to the biggest party of the year without her. But Casey will never be able to ask why because Bailey never makes it home from that party. Suddenly Broken Falls doesn't seem so welcoming, especially once everyone starts looking for, to the new girl for answers. Casey is about to learn some very important lessons. Sometimes appearances can be deceiving and sometimes when you're the new girl you shouldn't trust anyone. I watched a like a video on like crime thriller recommendations or psychological thriller recommendations and so I knew that it was a book that was recommended and it was one that people enjoyed and so I went for it. Then I have got A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This is, it says, five years ago, schoolgirl Andy Bell was murdered by Sal Singh. The police know who did it, everyone in the town knows who did it. But having grown up in the same small town that was consumed by the murder, Pippa Fitz, Fitz and Moby isn't so sure. When she chooses the case as a topic for her final year project, he starts to uncover secrets that someone in town desperately wants to stay hidden. And if the real killer is still out there, how far will they go to keep Pip from the truth? And it just sounds really, really interesting and I cannot wait to read it. When I was picking books, I made sure to choose ones that came with good recommendations. Then the final book that I got is The Heretic's Treasure by Scott Mariani. Now this isn't a psychological thriller. This is probably more like an adventure thriller. And this is in my like iBooks wish list. I saw it and I really liked the sound of it and I like things that are related to like Egypt and I just think they're so nice and so cool. It says X SAS operative Ben Hope has settled down in rural France until an, until an unexpected phone call shatters its newly found peace. Egyptologist Morgan Paxton has been brutally murdered in Cairo and Colonel Harry Paxton wants Ben to find his son's killer. Ben is unable to refuse the man who once saved his life but is torn when Harry asks him to avenge Morgan's death. To make matters worse, he finds himself attracted to Zara, Harry's new bride. But searching for Paxton's killer plunges Ben into one double cross after another. His mission leads him from Europe to the banks of the Nile, climaxing in a terrifying showdown in the Sudanese desert. At the end of the trail lies the ultimate priceless treasure, concealed from destruction during the reign of the heretic Pharaoh Akhenaten. Akhenaten, I don't know how to pronounce the pharaoh, sorry to him, God rest his soul. Uh, a fine that guarantees such riches that some people will murder to attain it. And it's an exhilarating treasure hunt thriller that will keep you gripped until the very last page. And I just think it sounds so interesting. It's part of the reason why I bought those Clive Cussler books because they're on that like adventure thriller but then they've got this like mystery and this like crime and it's just packed with so much stuff and it's so interesting and it's the reason why I really wanted this book and so I knew I was I knew I was getting this book oh actually it's the only book that I knew I was getting so because 
when my mum was making an Amazon order for some toys for my sister, she told me to book a book on there and if I, I went through my list and looked and it was like, actually, I desperately want this book, so I'm, I'm adding it, so, yeah. And even though it's not a book, it's sort of linked. I got a diary, like an actual, like, a year diary, but I do already, I have an academic planner, so one that's for, like, the academic year, but... I don't mind a new diary. I'll probably use one just like specifically for YouTube and I and maybe making notes for YouTube because I probably won't use it all every day. So I can always just use it to write notes down for YouTube and anything I need to make sure I get done for a video. So it's quite nice. Now moving on to like clothes and fashion i got a pair of vans i don't know which ones these are exactly well no not vans puma why did i say vans and i think i said vans or adidas in a previous video but no they're puma these are all white puma they've got a soft foam plus like insert so they're for optimum comfort optimal comfort should i say it i'm reading off of this thing but all white leather you can't go wrong with an all white trainer i wore these yesterday they did rub a little but nothing too much i could handle and when i went out for a walk today i wore them and they didn't rub as much so they just need to be worn in a bit and i have some of mud just because i didn't want to get mud everywhere because it was mainly clogged up around the end but yeah i have used them nice just need to be worn in a bit more to loosen up a little because they are quite stiff because they are leather then i got a bomber jacket it's from top shop obviously top shop is now closed but it's got this like orange inside but it's black it's got quite a few pockets and it's also like slightly oversized it's got a little bit of a like a lining like there's two this it's waterproof but then like there's also like a layer of like not insulation but like a warm material so it's gonna keep me so it does keep me warm when i'm walking and i did wear it christmas day and today when walking and i just like it i needed a new bomber jacket that's the point i need to throw my, away my old one and because my old one had a hole in the pocket and some threads on the arms that were like, not where they were supposed to so i bought that that's been bought to replace but again i knew where i was getting it now i'm moving well it's still fashion but i got some bras from m and i got four bras i'm wearing one of them i got like a hot pink one i'm not going to show you it but you can sort of see like the strap this one's like floral i think there was like a two for 18 on them so which is why i got the pink one and then it was it was the two for 18 on this and the pink one and i picked up the pink one because i thought let's get like a nice colorful one and then i picked this up it was nice it's like a navy sort of background but like floral on yeah the main reason why i went to the bra section is because i wanted a white bra because mine was like broken like the um like the wire on the inside had poked through and obviously it's not comfortable and that was a double pack with like this sort of like baby pink blush like it's a very light pink and <laughs> just very nice you can't go wrong with bras granted i usually prefer lacy ones i did buy those though but usually i prefer lacy ones but i could only get like a lacy one with like a black and a white or something and i didn't want black because i've already got a black bra that works fine works perfect still good condition and so yeah then i got a two pack of 90s i only know it's a two pack because my mum left the sticker on this one but this one that says 50 percent coffee 30 percent cake and 20 percent mascara 100 percent perfect and then at the bottom it says tired and it's quite nice it's from george 
only know that because I looked at the tag that was like on the bottom because I was thinking where did she get this from well not this one but a different one and yeah from George yeah that's all I can say it's nice I prefer wearing nighties rather than actual like pajamas I just prefer them they just feel a bit more comfortable then the second one in that double pack is this sort of like nice mint green one it's got coffee cake mascara 100% tired it's just all just tired on it it says 50% 30% 20% and it's just quite nice it's a nice mint color like I said it appears more white in front of you but if I bring it a bit closer maybe you can see the mint it you can see the mint more in my light than you can on camera I also got this like orange top from New Look. It was in the sale. It's like the box t-shirts, like all the one other ones I've got. So, and I like these tops. I wear them like so many times. Also, I got this jumper, like from. It's a New Look. I can't remember. Yeah, and also ripped jeans because because my ripped jeans actually ripped in like the wrong spot and so I had to chop them like earlier in the year so I wanted some ripped jeans because I did the clothes I was with my nana when we bought the clothes because you can't buy clothes for me because a I might not like them and b sizing so yeah and I also got another nighty. this one's from my nana but again I was with her we bought it at the same time as we bought the bras and it's this like it's got like mini on and it was so nice it's from M&S I believe it was like 12 50 and it's just so nice it's so comfy I wore it last night again so comfy then I got another nighty and with an inside the nighty came the nighty came inside this like little fluffy bag it's got mini on again I wasn't going for a theme I promise I just I quite like it I don't know whether I'm gonna keep it or whether I'm gonna give it to my sister might end up giving it to my sister just because I don't think I'll use it but yeah and the nighty that came with it does have mini on and it just looks like this it's like a pink colour like a dusky pink colour and it's really nice I haven't worn it I've got I wanted to do this video like I wanted to wait to put them away until I'd done this video because I knew it'd be easier to do this video first then try and collect everything all together so yeah then I also got this like tie-dye jumper each one that was on the shelf is like different so I got went for this one because it looked quite nice and quite simple it's quite an itchy material on the inside so I definitely have to wear this over the top of something rather than just wearing it on its own or my thought is that maybe after a wash it might become a bit softer I don't know but it's just, I quite like wearing grey as you can see it's grey also my socks are matching you can't see but they are grey with like tiny pink stripes so yeah again sorry about the background noise uh, yeah just sorry about the background noise really so yeah I went for that it was from me look as well I also got this like cropped like rib jumper I think it's a jumper like it's a jumper material however you can wear it without but it's just like this it's got quite like a high neck almost I think I can maybe cast it's like a turtleneck or it's very almost a turtleneck and it's quite nice I have cut out the label because I wore it yesterday and the label was itchy but I think I'm gonna have to cut more of it out because the installer was itchy then so I'm gonna have to do that but it's so nice so comfy so soft and I just love it and I know I've bought so much grey but it's just so easy for me to wear I also got these pa this pair of joggers from Primark it's the only thing I got from Primark because I tend to shop in New Look now because I know I can get slightly high quality clothes. So I got these like blue, like these like dark blue um, joggers. I have a pair of grey ones and I know I love them which is why it, like I went into Primark knowing what I wanted and that was it. Like I just got, I went for the thing I wanted. 
I like to point out this was before Primark closed down like I did this shop October yeah October I did the shop in October so I'd like to point that one out I also got loads of trainer socks I haven't paired them yet but yeah I got some trainer socks including the pair that's on my feet and I also got some underwear you can't go wrong like I don't care like I'm not even bothered about whether it's got like the patterns on it as long as the patterns aren't like too ill but I don't mind having ones that the patterns on and because no one's gonna see them like I have thongs but I don't wear them too often and they are for more like if I was on a night out anyway so I don't even care for me it's comfort I would just go for comfort like obviously if I was to wear a dress then I would probably go for a thong but when I'm just wearing a pair of jeans it doesn't matter like no and then the final thing that I got is a new laptop it's from HP I don't know the exact model um it's the 14s that's what it says Yeah, it just says model 14S DQ0500SA. I'm pretty sure it's a fairly recent one and it's just so nice. It's silver, my previous one slash the one, current one I've got is black. I'm still going to keep my old laptop but it's not going to be used as often. But it's going to be for like, if this laptop dies and I'm desperate to keep doing like an assignment then I can switch over. However, we do have a di dilemma. Obviously, playing Sims on my old laptop was quite slow, and this laptop is fast. However, obviously, the games don't transfer, so I can't exactly play the continuing game of the Kardashians. However, luckily, I did only do one episode, so I'm thinking maybe just restarting it on here. I won't delete the episode that I did for Vlogmas, but I'm thinking do it on here instead just because it's going to be a lot simpler than and also it's going to be a lot quicker with filming that's, that's my thoughts anyway because it's a lot crap faster like it doesn't lag and it's just so nice so I'm thinking restart Kardashians because I did literally only try and set a rod financially but what I have done is build up a house well, I didn't build the house with this new Kardashian game. I just gave her a building because I was able to do it better. But that is all the stuff that I got for Christmas. Again, like I said, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I am I know I'm extremely fortunate to get the stuff that I get. Again, I apologise for any background noise. They're playing with some of my sister's toys downstairs because my sister is five, so it's not like the baby stuff obviously it's like a young child and yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know of anything that you really enjoyed getting for christmas like whether it was like an experience or whatever or just i don't know let me know of how your christmas went let me know of any videos you want to see from me make sure you hit that like button and let's try and get this video to 10 likes and also make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are trying to get this channel to at least 360 subscribers by the end of 2020 so please make that happen and i do turn 19 in three days or at least i'm hope like in terms of like chris because it's boxing day i turn 19 in three days 29th so yes and yeah so I know we'll be doing a what I got for my 19th birthday and yeah I, it won't be as much as this I promise you like there'll be only like the odd item so yeah but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye